Mayor Adams doubling down on his policy that would limit shelter stays for migrant families to just 60 days. He says it's worked with adult migrants who are able to find housing, their own housing. But as Fox Size Lisa ever shows us, there are still concerns that people could end up on the street. Mayor Eric Adams sat down with leaders from his administration to address the growing flood of migrants to the city. He says the crisis is accelerating quickly and shows no sign of slowing down. Over the last 18 months, roughly 2,300 migrants have been arriving each week. Now that number is up to 4,000 and expected to increase. Since the humanitarian crisis began 18 months ago, uh, not one family and child has slept on uh, the street. Not one. Not one. I mean, to be very clear on that. The mayor says the city is running out of space for shelters and lost one on Monday. The fire department shut down the St. John Villa migrant shelter on Staten Island due to safety concerns like a non-working sprinkler system and missing fire alarms. The mayor and his chief of staff say safety is a priority. But I cannot emphasize uh, enough of when you're at capacity, every day is a challenge. When we open up these sites, it's not just FDNY that goes in, it's also the Department of Buildings that makes determinations about the building that we're in, what those occupancy levels are, et cetera. So there's a whole checklist that they review before we open up any of these sites. Some organizations have criticized the mayor for imposing a 60-day limit on shelter stays for migrant families. They argue that it unnecessarily disrupts their lives at a time when they're just becoming settled. Now the migrant families are being notified that they will have to leave within 60 days. We have seen that uh, these, uh, the 60-day notices with intensive case work support, they're working. Many people are deciding uh, to find their own independent living arrangement or their uh, stand with family members or move into other locales where they can stabilize their lives. The process of figuring out where a family is going to move is not going to start on the 60th day. There is intensive case management that is going to be happening. We will be working with those families before we get to that date. City officials say that migrant children will be able to stay in the schools they're currently enrolled in even after their families leave the shelter system. The mayor says unless the federal government steps in and slows the flow of migrants to the city, you can expect to see them sleeping on the streets soon. In lower Manhattan, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.